Now, the other day, I had a friend come and talk to me. And he said how he has a roommate who is ordering in a lot, like McDonald's, KFC, and he doesn't exercise much. He sleeps in a lot, um, but he still has quite a quite an above average physique. I wouldn't say it's phenomenal, but it's above average. And my friend was frustrated because he said, how does this guy have all these habits, but he is able to maintain a physique? And I told him that those habits will catch up with him. Now, I want you to understand something. In terms of sexual market value, which is your ability to be attractive to the the opposite sex and what quality of a partner you would be. In terms of sexual market value, women peak when they're very young, often 18 to 24. This is a concept that I'd first learned in evolutionary biology and then later on through my own observation, as well as some input from First Man, uh, the channel on YouTube, I understood this concept. So what happens is 18 to 24 women will go out partying. They will go out to clubs. They will go out to restaurants. They will upload on social media. They will try and make use of their peak. They will make use of their peak to get attraction from opposite sex, as well as to attract possible partners, long-term or short-term. Now, what about men? Well, here's the thing, is that men have two options. The first option is the example I mentioned earlier. You go around partying, drinking, eating trash, and if you're blessed and you have a good metabolism, you might look good until 21, 22, maybe even 25 if you stretch it, and you might be able to sleep around with low quality women. Maybe get lucky and get into a relationship with a moderately quality woman. But what happens is that you miss the male peak, which is much later in life. The male peak is around 28 to 36, much later than a woman's. Why is that? Well, evolutionary biology shows us that men look for genetics and hallmarkers of health, such as a hip to waist ratio, as well as high estrogen content showing soft facial features. And that generally peaks at around 18 to 24 in women, as I had said. But now with men, women mostly select on status. Not just status, but competence. Because in the way that our societies are structured, the only way to climb up the status hierarchy is with competence or dumb luck. So every now and then you get dumb luck and you get people like, let's say, Lil Pump, who make millions of dollars because they are making a clown of themselves and people find it funny. So they get a lot of attention. But for a normal everyday person who isn't lucky, the only way to climb the status hierarchy is through competence, through sheer hard work. Building a business or pursuing a career that's high in demand, like a neurosurgeon, for example, you will make money. And with that money, you can build a lifestyle, a lifestyle that not only shows freedom and comfort and fun experiences, but a lifestyle that also attracts women. They want a man who is competent, they want a man who's sharp, and they want a man with resources and access to high quality, fun experiences. But here's the thing is that men will only achieve competence and resources later on in life because they are not relying on hormones and biology. They're relying on sheer hard work, but you will only achieve that if you work hard in your twenties. If you spend your twenties partying, enjoying life, sleeping around with a low quality woman, the consequences of all those behaviors that you have built will catch up with you. They will catch up with you. Then you will miss the male peak later on.
because you would have not spent all the years working on your resources, working on your competence, working on your, on your physique, for example. You would have not built those habits. But the men who can spend their 20s focusing on fitness, finance, social skills, confidence, competence, reading books, taking courses, learning, going to university. The men who put the work in there, they will be able to ride that peak later on in life. They will be free. They will attract high quality women. They will have high quality experiences, maybe in other countries or festivals or having a beautiful home, having a beautiful car and having the freedom. Now, what type of guy are you wanting to be? Are you wanting to be who peaks in a low quality lifestyle because you don't have money and you don't have access to high quality women? Do you want a low quality lifestyle when you're young and you're having fun? Or do you want to be living in a world that is this disciplined incubator that you only get the fruits of those seeds later on in life, but the fruits will be far more nutritious than anything you could imagine gaining in your 20s as a guy. The guys who are the guys who are chads in high school, the guys who are tall and have abs, they will most likely spend their 20s partying because it's an easy, quick way to get validation and to live a fun, free lifestyle. But it does catch up with them. So I'm going to ask you again, what type of male do you want to be?